Hi, I'm Ann from Ann's Raspberry Farm. Today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to make our savory Brussels sprout dip. The recipe is on our recipe section on our website, so you can find it there. It's just one eight ounce cream cheese. I soften it a little bit in my mixer bowl. And then a quarter of a cup of our relish, that's it. It comes like this. I'm just gonna put that in with the cream cheese. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it up in my mixer. This is super quick, super easy. Always a hit at any party. I just blend it really well. It is a very fine relish, so it does mix in very well and makes a wonderful vegetable dip. We like to serve it with pretzels or any kind of cracker, but a lot of people will put it on a bagel in the morning, a toasted bagel, or serve it with a chocolate cheese tray, in a cheese tray, and it makes a really nice accompaniment as an appetizer, with or without the cream cheese, really. Out of the jar, hamburgers, hot dogs. It is a delicious relish. On the savory side, it's not a sweet relish. Okay, I'm gonna clean off my beater here. I've been wanting to do a demo of this for a long time. We've been, well, this has been our one of our most popular products the most popular product really because it's so unusual there isn't anybody else that makes it but we grow a lot of Brussels sprouts and sell them fresh at the farmers market so I thought it would be a wonderful idea to make this relish and it has been it, a delicious option as a condiment it kind of brings your grilling up to a gourmet level very nice got a little bit of tang as I said before it's savory more on the savory side than on the sweet side. It does have uh, a variety of peppers, onions, garlic, spices, red wine vinegar, local honey. Very, very clean ingredients. No additives of any kind. And then I just serve it like this on a lovely serving tray with your favorite cracker. I suggest something like a multi-grain or a triscuit, and then you're good to go. You can add other things on here if you'd like to. I have a lovely Hungarian hot pepper mustard. We'll often do a dish of that, and then a dish of some jalapeno raspberry, and serve that alongside our meat and cheese tray for an appetizer. So I thank you for coming by. If you have questions, you can always email us on our website at annsraspberryfarm at gmail.com. We love to answer questions um, to help you use our products in a very nice way so that you'll really enjoy them. So thank you so much for coming by.